Hi and uh, welcome back and if you're new here thanks for checking out the channel. I did actually make it into the garden today with the steamer. I've got it uh, rolling and I'm already producing nice straight pieces of wood. I've got about four pieces done. I've got about another three or four in the steamer and I'm basically cutting and getting ready to keep the thing supplied and keep it going. I'm going to do pretty much the whole of the day just to get my stock of blanks up and um, I'll let you have a quick little look. Well there you go, you can see the steam in here at gurgling and you can see the rag uh, drumming away there. Bring you along. You can see it's venting water there. That's quite important because of steam pressure. And as you can see, a very old uh, camping kettle providing the, uh, the the boiling mechanism, and the heat is coming from my fire pit. It's the simplest of setups that you can get, but it works. I've put the pieces that have already been straightened in here to cool off, so um, they got a chance to get cool before I rack them in the actual workshop. I've got pieces here already selected which I'm going to put in and I've got a cup of coffee, a seat and I'm just sitting here watching the world go by doing this which isn't too bad, uh, not too bad a job I would say and this is how I'm straightening my um, sticks. They've just been put through these rollers and being bent either way that I need to to achieve the actual bend. And obviously the saw is to cut to length. But yeah, um, it's quite a pleasant and fast way to do this. You know, every 20 minutes I'm doing three or four and putting the next lot in and just uh, basically sitting down and uh, contemplating life and watching the world go by. So, you know, I published a video uh, yesterday of me using the hot air gun. And um, as I stated there, the reasons I don't really use that method anymore unless I have to. There is a break in the weather. I could have gone for a hike and I did plan to go up on the moors and I was going to take you to some a stone circle that is pretty remote but um, that's going to have to wait because I do need to get these blanks done. It you know after today um, you know I'll be able to get out on the trail in between making the sticks. So um, yeah uh, this will be my uh, job today and um, I'll plan my next hike you know around making sticks but you know you know it's it's just one of those things you know even me as a, a crafter that can come and go as I please I'm still obligated to you know <laughs> try and earn some money
So as you can see, it's a lot more uh, <laughs> easier work, as in you know, you're saving time and the sticks bend a lot more freely. And um, like I keep saying, the speed, I've got another three or four pieces in. I've just completed another three. I've got my next ones ready to go in there and I'm going to go and get another batch ready, you know, to take the place of these when they're in the steamer. I'll keep this going until I have to pick the kids up from school and then I'll have more than enough blanks for my craft fair and to possibly see me into January. So, you know, as long as I pick one more day of good weather like this, you know, in the next few months, just to top what I'm doing up here today, you know, it should be fine. I should be able to have enough to keep myself going. You know, it's just being disciplined enough to, you know, dedicate a whole day sitting here with a cup of coffee, straightening sticks. Um, that might not sound too hard a thing to do, but um, unfortunately, um, I tend to be one of those people who like to be on the go and doing things. This isn't a waste of a day, obviously, but um, sometimes it just feels like you look at the sky, you think, I'd rather be surfing or hiking or doing something else. But um, yeah, without straight blanks or as straight as uh, the stick will allow me to get it, you know, I've got nothing to craft with. So, and um, you know, it swings and roundabouts. I've got to do it, basically. So basically, it's this whole bundle here I'm going to try and get done today. And um, I've got to get them to the point they're as straight as this one here. See that? And I'm basically trying to get ones, obviously I'm cutting to length and you can mitigate some of the curves if you select how you cut it. But you can see here, basically, what I'm trying to achieve and this is more than what I'm happy with there's a few small little kinks but nothing too much um, and basically I've got to try and get this one here like this one here and the majority of those there will need a lot of straightening so yeah I just have to clear it up like in my other video I dedicated solely to the actual process what was involved in this uh, straightening setup with steam fire you're dealing with pressure you know it's, an, it's quite dangerous what I'm doing here you do have to be careful with it and you know and if you I would suggest you know don't don't attempt it unless you're fully confident in knowing what you're doing with you know all those uh, mechanisms at play um, but uh, I'm not slating people that use hot air guns because I've used it for many, many years successfully myself. But like I said, I'm just able to whiz through so many in one go, you know, dedicate a day and I can have a couple months worth of sticks there ready to go. Um, you know, and it's not too, too unenjoyable. You pick a nice day like this, sitting here with coffee, it's not too, you know, unpleasant. But uh, yeah, I'm not slating stick makers that use hot air um, guns. I, like I said, I've used them for, for years myself. It's just that this is a far superior method using steam. So yeah, this is Andy from, you know, uh, you know from my little uh, setup here and where I produce my folklore hiking sticks. Um, you know, I will get out on the trail, I keep saying it. I've just done one down in a, a nature reserve that's been published but um, I aim to get out on the moors and show you these uh, stones, stone circles. So yeah, um, all the best and uh, I hope to catch you out on the trail. Now that's a uh, office with a view isn't it? Can't beat that. <laughs> 